And welcome back folks, Professor Almeida here to show you how to complete a project in SimNet. Now projects are real world applications where you're given a scenario and certain tasks. So maybe you have a project that has been partially completed and they're asking you to make certain fixes and add new things. You're gonna go through those steps and then you will take that project file and turn it in for a grade. That's essentially how a project works. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so here we are in Canvas. I'm using my Microsoft Access course as an example. To get to a project, you simply follow the link in Canvas and it will take you to this page. Now, a SimNet project follows the one, two, three approach here, where in step one, you download your starting project file. Perhaps there are some resources, whether it's a zipped file, maybe it's an image, or in this case, it's an Excel workbook that they're gonna ask you to import later. So let me scroll down and show you here. Once you have the starting file and your resources, you're gonna be given the scenario here, and then these are the instructions. And you'll see that it's pretty much a checklist and you can do this on the screen as you're moving through your projects. Now, if you're like me, uh, and you know I prefer to have something in front of me as I go along, I can actually print out the instructions and use that as a checklist. Now, I know it may seem strange in a computer class that we're sacrificing trees here, but trust me on this, uh, you want to have something physical in front of you, that way you're not missing something. And again, there are the check boxes for you to complete and then you could just print this out. A couple of other things I want to show you before we get to step two up here. Take a look at previous attempts so you know how many attempts you have. In this case with this project there are three attempts and then finally we have best practices. If this is your first time take a moment and look through all of this so that you know how these assignments work. Okay. So let's say we're completing a project. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my project file here. Again, this is Microsoft Access. And you'll see that this is actually a completed project. I went through all of the steps down here. You can see I've gone through all of this. And once you're done with your project, it's very important to make sure that you have completely saved and you closed out of your project before uploading. And you wanna make sure that you're doing this every time with your attempts. So if you don't get 100% the first time, you go back, you fix uh, the things that you need to fix and make sure that you save and close again before you upload. That way you don't miss any attempts. Also, make sure you know how many attempts you have. In this case, we have three attempts, but sometimes you might have only one attempt, okay? So be very careful with that. Anyway, let's get to step two here. Okay, let's go ahead and upload our project file. Let's say we're all finished here. A lot of times it's gonna be in your downloads folder. So make sure you keep track of where you're saving things. Let's go ahead and submit the file and you'll see what the grading process looks like. This is all done automatically uh, against a uh, pre-programmed rubric. And here's what the results look like. Okay, it might take a moment or two. And in this case, I got a 100%, I'm on my second attempt. Now, if you don't get 100%, this is your chance to look through and see what you missed, okay? And for the most part, you can just go right back into your project file and make those corrections. So to get back, just go ahead and click on this link. Uh, again, if you wanna look at your past attempts, you could just go right here, and then again, you can click this to see what you missed, okay? So if you didn't get 100% the first time, go back in, make those corrections. If you messed up pretty badly where you wanna start over, it doesn't hurt to download a fresh copy and then just to start again from the beginning. Anyway, this is how a project typically works in SimNet. Uh, one final thing I wanna mention, there's a number of different kinds of projects. What you just saw is what's called a guided project. And in a guided project, they actually show you how to do certain things. So if we're going down the instructions here, let me show you real quick. Right here, they actually tell you how to do certain tasks. So in this case, to create a new table, 
uh, in access you go to the create tab tables group and then you click on table okay that's what you see in a guided project with typical independent projects most of your projects by the way are independent projects you're going to be given the scenario and the set of instructions and you're expected to know how to complete those tasks finally you have capstone projects which are really independent projects but in a larger scope they typically span a couple of chapters anyway i hope this video has helped you out good luck on your projects thanks for watching and i'll see you around take care